Welcome to Learn to Make iOS Apps Using Swift 2 from Edginox. My name is Brett, and in this module, we're going to look at the introductory material for the course, which is going to let you see what the requirements are and what the course outline is going to be like. Now, the requirements are that you're going to need a Mac um, because the software we're using only runs on a Mac and you're going to need Xcode 7. We're running or working with Swift 2, which requires Xcode 7. Now you can get Xcode 7 for free from the App Store. And I also recommend that you register with an Apple developer account that's gonna allow tighter integration with Xcode. And it's gonna also allow you at some point if you want to publish your apps on the App Store. Now let's look at the course outline and what we're going to do in this course. So we have the introduction to Swift and this is gonna be the language introductory material where we get into strings and we get into conditional flow and loops and the different kinds of data types. And we look at this kind of in isolation. Um, we're gonna have a, a theme that we can work against but we're not actually gonna be building apps at this point. We're just gonna build up our foundational material that will then let us launch into building apps once we really get the foundations under our belt. Then we get into building our first app. Here we're going to work with the same theme that we was using in the Swift introduction which is our fruit stand theme. And it may seem kind of um, simple that we're using a fruit stand but there's actually going to be a lot going on such as we've got to keep an inventory of all of our fruits, we've got to have pricing um, we've got to know who our sources are, so our formers. Um, we we have a name for our stand. So there's actually going to be a, quite a few different things we can work with here. And then we're going to get into working with plist, which are property list. Basically, they're state files that allow us to save information into these files and retrieve it. This also lets us look at how to do some file I.O., so some input-output with the file system. Next, we get into debugging. So in a, a very important um, technique to know in any programming language, and specifically we'll look at how to do it in Swift using our IDE, which is Xcode. And then there's core data, which is a robust technique for saving your data. It's basically a database that we can save data into and retrieve. And then there's just going to be a summary where we go over everything we've covered and discuss it once more, kind of clarify concepts in this last part here. So that is our introduction of what's going to be going on in the course. And now we can go ahead and look at our next lesson, which is getting us into Xcode.